This is a book review of Fran of the Floods from the pages of Ginty and Lindy. Ginty being the main comic, but it was joined forces with Lindy at the time. And it's by Alan Davidson and Phil Gascoigne. And I'm certain many other people were also involved. So this is from Rebellion and it's part of their treasury of British comics. They've been doing these amazing reprints of lots of different issues from the 70s, 60s, etc. And this is a complete story of Fran of the Floods. Guess what I'm saying? Waterworld. Britain is slightly damp during this story. So, just going to give you the... Now, the book itself is in black and white. Of course, most British comics were in black and white. And it's approximately about 110 pages. Most of it black and white. Restoration, inking is all fairly decent. A few pages where it's slightly a bit rougher at times. But really, I think it's actually quite crisp. And there's no issue at look at reading any of these pages. So it's really, really good. And it's, I'm just going to show you the spine. You can see there. And it holds open quite nicely. And you've got a decent gutter there. So you can see the spine. There, so it's a quite a thin book, reasonably easy to. You can see it's a fairly decent standard size comic. So that's the. I assume, and I haven't compared the comic with the actual this. I assume it's exactly the same size. There hasn't been any size scaling. So Ginty from obviously Ginty and Lindy, from 17th January to the 11th of September 1976. So it went on for quite a few months. This was about. Eight months, eight months of issues. Obviously, there was one, two, three, three pages per weekly issue. There were weekly. So you've got the Fran and the Floods. This book, I'm going to go get through the story in a sec. It's got a little bit about them at the back. And also an advert for another book, the Ginty book there. This one, which I've just got. And I will do a review of that for a while as well. But also, and I'm not going to show the end page. I don't want to spoil it, of course. You've got... But here's some of the bonus. There is some colour in it. Obviously, it shows the covers of the ones that are Ginty and Lindy. That and 1976 issues, you should be able to find readily available if you look on eBay, etc. So just go on eBay or maybe the brilliant 30th Century Comics, the great shop in Putney, and they should have numbers of issues of Ginty. So if you want to find out more of Ginty Comics, and of course, go over to the Rebellion website, and find out more of their books they've got, and they're always bringing out new ones. And they've even got, I think, something coming out today. So I'm just going to rush down and uh, buy my local news agents, hopefully a copy of the latest special. So there's the first page. I'm just going to quickly show you the first page. You can see the quality of the work. There's the first page. And it's basically raining. <laughs> Nothing unusual in the UK. I mean, I think even today it's raining. It's been raining. It's been a hit and miss summer. Lots of people probably say it's been a lovely summer, but it's been okay, on and off. But there's been a lot of rain, and there's always rain. And, of course, that's just taken the typical British concerns of rain and weather and just put it into a story where, basically, it just rains and rains and rains and rains, a lot of rain, and clearly lots of issues. But you've got this really uh, upbeat kid that's... Uh, She's like happy about everything. So she's absolutely wonderful. And she's got a sister, she's got family. Of course, I don't want to say much particularly about the ins and outs of the story, but there's lots of adventures for her. Lots of adventures where things, of course, go wrong, the flooding, various issues with the town where she lives, then searching. She has to go out into the countryside and all the conflict problems. She faces a lot of issues, but it's very well done over here. And of course, there's a lot of the issues in this. And I'm just going to show you another one where you can virtually guess quite a lot of the story, possible story. That's obviously hoarding of food. Obviously, with if it was now, it would be toilet rolls. You'd have lots of people saying, you've got toilet rolls in your house. So we're going to, what's his name? So that, that, but this is quite sudden. This is this is the thing I like about this story. You know, it's not there's no like space of a couple of days. This is straight away. We're gonna let like, people bash into the house. So you've got great stories and there's lots of uh, obviously issues. Of course, this is 1970s, and of course, there's been the three-day 
it's all the power obviously being cut and all that sort of stuff. So you've got stories like that as well. So you, there's a lot of familiarity with this story. I didn't read this at the time. I have to say, 76, I was probably reading a lot more Marvel comics. I did get some of these comics. I would read them. You go in the news agents and you pick them up and get through them. But I wasn't so familiar with these. It's only now that I've appreciated that the artwork and the stories are actually pretty good. Really quite... Obviously, probably then I was probably quite dismissive, as I was of uh, lots of different music. I was more into punk and works of stuff, so I would be dismissive. And I likewise, in comics, I knew what I liked. And so I wasn't, didn't read everything that perhaps I should have done. But there's some lovely story. Like she meets, obviously, she's got this, some other people and they have lots of... Fun. Now, there is a sort of scene where reminiscent... Of, I don't know if you watch The Walking Dead... But you've got like Negan character, this Negan character. Well, you've got this similar sort of things. You've got a similar thing where suddenly over a space of a couple of weeks, and I'm not actually certain how long the events in this, because, you know, obviously there will be lots of issues with food. If flooding was extreme, how would food get anywhere? So clearly you get people who decide to be a bit ruthless and a bit, well, you know what? The law isn't around anymore. We can do what we like kind of thing. Everything falls apart. But of course, Fran is upbeat. What's her name? Goes through everything. She's generally cheerful, even though it's still raining and raining and raining and lots and lots of problems. And places that she, when they go around, she's involved in lots of things that potentially could actually happen, I guess. Obviously, many things that potentially probably would never happen. But it's still very well done. And I'm just going to show you another page. Uh, there's a, so I don't want to show anything that I think is going to spoil anything of the story. So there's another bit of the Fran of the Floods. And it's really, I think, a good, well-placed story. Now, this was over eight months, so you would have the story. For eight months, you would have the different adventures. So the story would have like two or three issues, and then it would change, and suddenly she would go off and have something else, another load set of problems to face. And there's some interesting characters along the way. Some uh, better than others, some slightly deranged characters as well along the way. You always, when you read these books, and it's uh, you think, hmm, I mean, these were stories were pretty, what's it name for, um, I assume like 13, 12 year old kids would be looking at this, and uh, you know, this was no wonder that eco warriors would have, I'm certain, would think, you know, what, well, this is going to be an issue, and Fran and the Floods, I'm certain. Could be a, but it's a really, really genuinely good story. I'm really pleased that Rebellion has brought this out because it would have been disappointing if Frank the Floods had been. I mean, obviously, people mention these these books, these stories. People that these are popular. You can go on lots of websites where people will discuss these sort of stories, and people have fond memories of them. But it's really nice that people because UK comics pretty hard to find. I mean, you can obviously find them online. You can eBay, etc. 30th centuries I mentioned, but still compared with uh, um, the you you know US comics, US comics are everywhere. You can find hundreds and thousands of old back issues of US comics, but UK ones to Rebellion and obviously Titan as well. Titan brought out a number of back issues and things, but I think Rebellion are doing an absolutely great job, and it's great to see that. And hopefully they will bring out many many more of these. Brilliant series of books, so uh, like the Misty Ones, etc. So, Fan of the Floods, totally recommend you. Definitely well worth checking out this story. Just brilliant. 